हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक अगेन टू अनदर वीडियो फ्रॉम माय यूट्यूब चैनल डियर फ्रेंड्स इन अवर प्रीवियस वीडियो वी टॉक्ड अबाउट द डिलीवरी प्रोसेस दैट इज बायोलॉजिकली कॉल्ड एज पार्चुरेशन द बेबी डिलीवरी प्रोसेस आफ्टर द डिलीवरी ऑफ द बेबी द न्यू बॉर्न बेबी शुड बी फेड विथ अ न्यूट्रिटिव मटीरियल वट इज दैट न्यूट्रिटिव मटीरियल इट इज द ब्रेस्ट मिल्क the breast milk is produced inside the mammary glands of the mother that concept we are going to understand under the heading of lactation lactation this lactation concept it is very very important for both board as well as for competitive exams lactation means the process of formation of milk is called as lactation in general but the scientific definition of lactation is the process of the process of formation of formation as well as the process of formation and ejection ejection of milk the process of formation and ejection of milk towards towards the end of end of pregnancy towards the end of the pregnancy towards the end of the gestation period it is called as lactation listen very carefully my dear friends lactation involves two very important steps two very important aspects the first one is formation of milk and the second one is ejection of milk we'll understand how the milk is formed inside the mammary glands of the mother and we'll also discuss how that newly formed milk get ejected out both the mechanisms we are going to understand in detail before we discuss these two processes we have to understand lactation is also a neuroendocrine mechanism lactation is neuro endocrine mechanism we have discussed this uh, neuroendocrine mechanism in the parturition neuro means nervous system brain nerves signals nerve impulses they are involved nervous system is involved and endocrine means the glands are also involved if the glands are involved definitely it is the involvement of hormones that means nervous system as well as hormones they regulate the entire mechanism of milk formation as well as the milk ejection now as the female reaches the end of the pregnancy the milk production begins the first aspect of the lactation is formation of milk formation of milk this is the first step or the first concept under the heading lactation and the second concept second aspect of lactation is milk ejection milk ejection milk ejection they are the two very important steps of lactation the formation of milk it is called as lactogenesis 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 what is lactogenesis the process of the process of formation of milk the process of formation of milk by the end by the end by the end of pregnancy 
by the end of pregnancy. It is called as lactogenesis. Very important word for competitive exams. The process of formation of milk by the end of pregnancy is called as lactogenesis. Now, how the milk is produced and where exactly the milk is produced? We know, we simply say milk is produced inside the mammary glands of the mother. But what is the exact location? We have seen the detailed diagram of mammary glands in our previous videos while studying the female reproductive system. If you recall that video, if you recall that image of mammary gland, inside the mammary glands we have got a grape-like structures, a bunch of grapes-like structures. They are called as alveoli. These alveoli are the actual places where the milk production takes place. Where the milk is formed, what is the exact location? The location of lactogenesis. The location of lactogenesis is alveoli of mammary glands. Alveoli of mammary glands. They are the exact location of the milk production. Now what happens by the end of pregnancy? Towards the end of the pregnancy, that means uh, uh, in the ninth month, towards the ninth month of the pregnancy, towards the end of pregnancy, end of pregnancy, towards the end of pregnancy, estrogen and progesterone level is very low in the female body estrogen estrogen and progesterone they are the two very important hormones estrogen and progesterone levels are low in maternal body Maternal means mother's body, female's body, maternal body. This low level of estrogen and progesterone is very very important my dear friends. This low level of progesterone and estrogen stimulates, it stimulate, it stimulate the anterior lobe of pituitary gland. The front lobe of the pituitary gland. It stimulates anterior lobe of pituitary gland of mother, pituitary gland of the mother. Here the pituitary gland gets stimulated by the low level of progesterone and estrogen. As a result of that, this pituitary gland, pituitary gland, it produces, it secretes, it secretes a hormone, it is called as prolactin. It secretes a hormone called as prolactin. Who secretes the prolactin? Pituitary gland secretes the prolactin. Who stimulated the pituitary gland to secrete the prolactin? It is the low level of progesterone and estrogen. This prolactin, it stimulates, it stimulates, it stimulates the alveoli, alveoli of mammary glands. It stimulates the alveoli of the mammary glands. As a result of that, there is a lactogenesis. As a result of that, there is a lactogenesis. What is lactogenesis? The process of formation of the milk. Milk is formed inside the alveoli of the mammary glands. And these alveoli get stimulated by the prolactin hormone. This prolactin is secreted by the pituitary gland. And pituitary gland secretes prolactin only when there is a low level of estrogen and progesterone in the female body. This is how the milk is produced inside the mammary glands of the mother. Now, whatever the milk which is produced in the mammary glands 
towards the end of the pregnancy, that milk production has to be continuous. It has to be continuous. Continuous milk production akta neer bekri. Yelli nil varda do milk production ago do. A milk production ago do suppose ninthway tu antan tandre. Magu ige nourishment delin sigbeko. Magu ige hege nourishment mado do. So milk production, this lactogenesis has to be continuous. It has to be milk production has to be continuous. That process of maintaining. Listen this statement very carefully. The process of maintaining continuous milk production in the mammary gland, it is called as galactogenesis. Galactogenesis. What is galactogenesis? The process of maintenance of continuous milk production, it is called as galactogenesis, whereas the process of formation of milk by the end of pregnancy, it is called as lactogenesis. Don't get confused between galactogenesis and lactogenesis. In the previous year NEET question paper, the question was asked, which hormone is responsible for lactogenesis and galactogenesis? We know for lactogenesis, prolactin hormone is responsible. Whereas for galactogenesis, Three very important hormones are responsible. Three very important hormones are required. The first one is growth hormone. Growth hormones in the maternal body are responsible for galactogenesis. Second one is thyroxine. Thyroxine is responsible for galactogenesis. And one more very important hormone, it is cortisol. Cortisol. Remember the names of these three very important hormones. They maintain the continuous, they maintain the continuous blood, sorry, milk formation inside the mammary glands of the mother. Now the milk is produced. After production of the milk, that milk has to be ejected out through the nipple. How it is ejected out? This ejection of milk, it is also a neuroendocrine mechanism it is also a neuroendocrine mechanism what happens when the baby is delivered what the doctors they suggest the mother doctors they suggest the mother to feed the newly born baby with her breast milk when the baby suckles the nipple when the baby suckles the nipples, nipples of mother, when the baby suckles the nickel, uh, when the baby suckles the nipples of the mother, inside the nipples, there are some sensory, there are some sensory cells, sensory receptors are located. These receptors, these receptors get activated. Only when the baby suckles the nipple of the mother. Then this suckling, this suckling, it stimulate, it stimulate the pituitary gland. It stimulate the pituitary gland and the pituitary gland produces a very important hormone. The name of the hormone is oxytocin 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 gets secreted by the pituitary gland when the baby suckles the nipple of the mother then this oxytocin this oxytocin it acts on it acts on the muscles of mammary gland muscles of mammary muscles of mammary glands and these muscles they get contracted they get contracted and they get squeezed off they get squeezed off due to that squeezing milk is ejected milk is ejected milk comes out through the mammary glands of the mother 
by the action of oxytocin whereas the milk formation takes place by the action of prolactin. They are the very very important two hormones. Now let us understand one more very important concept that is colostrum. Colostrum. Colostrum anna kannadadalli nao ginnada halu anthil kiritivi. Colostrum. What is colostrum? Colostrum is initial milk secreted. The first milk secreted at the initial lactation period. Lactation shuru ad mele. Thai yedhi halu kudusli ki shuru maadid mele. Starting in hal barattala that milk is called as colostrum. How we can define the colostrum? Colostrum is the initial initial milk secreted secreted by the mother by the mother for few days of lactation few days of lactation this colostrum this particular kind of milk is secreted only for few days of lactation that to be at the initial stage it is called as colostrum this colostrum milk colostrum is actually a kind of milk it is pale yellow in color pale yellow color milk and this milk is very very thick thick milk and this milk is full of fats full of fats calcium calcium and this milk it consists of antibodies in it it consists of antibodies it consists of antibodies particularly the mother's colostrum it consists of IgA, immunoglobin A. It is a type of antibody. Remember, it is very, very important for competitive exams. The antibodies present in the colostrum are IgA, immunoglobin A. They are the types of antibodies present in the colostrum. What is colostrum? Colostrum is a kind of milk. It's a type of milk which is secreted at the initial days of the lactation which is pale yellow in color very thick rich in fats and the calcium and it consists of the antibodies what is the name of the antibody which is present in the colostrum it is IgA I hope you people have got an idea about the lactation process this completes your third chapter human reproduction in our next video we'll begin with the new chapter reproductive health thank you so much